hi guys you're welcome back to my channel it's your girl olamide mercy so today's video is going to be a short but i believe it will be helpful to you guys i will be sharing a website where i write my statement of purpose okay i understand that um when you're applying to grad school you want to agree with me that um if you are applying to more than one schools you would need to tailor your statement of purpose to that particular school even if your research interest is still like similar in all your statement of purpose you can't just there are certain things that you still need to change okay so this is the website i always use to write my statement of purpose it makes it easier for you to save like you can edit duplicate make changes without stressing too much and I like, I like, um, I just like this website. It's really very, very helpful. So I've decided to share it with you. And the name of this website is Overleave. Overleave is like a website whereby you get to do your project. All right. You don't need to install. You can just go online. You need to create an account. To just, it is free. I'm using the free version. You need to sign up, then log in. So let's get started. This is um, Overleave just go to search for overleaf and um, and you're gonna get started so I already have a template for instance if you are just about to start you will need to get a template and so you can start working in because it requires one or two codes so in order for you to skip those codes you will just um, need a template then you are you'll be able to find your way around it but let me start with um, what I have here for instance Let's look at this um, statement of purpose. What I what you what we have on this left is the code editor. Don't get scared, okay? And what we have on the right is the um, output, okay? So all what I do is once I have this template for my statement of purpose, I already have this template for my statement of purpose, right? So I just come here, I just do the editing I want to do, then I just click on recompile. For instance, this introduction, if I decide to change it to um, background or anything maybe passion or anything I'm just saying like and I decide to just come here and recompile you can see that um, it changes to background or passion so like that like that I have subsessions my name my email LinkedIn my LinkedIn um, educational background like subsessions right so this is very very helpful so when I want to like right um i want to submit another statement of purpose for another school what i just do is i just change the name of the school certain things i don't have to like start all over or like have to download edit all this kind of thing so what i do in that sense i just come here let's go back you will come to this place and then just click on copy right then you can change the name of the school to probably university of mercy then the second school you're applying to and you open it when you open it, you go in into that. Then you go and change everything that has to do with University of Mercy and change it to University of Mercy. Okay? So this is just a draft. This is not a um, this thing. So just change it to University of Mercy. Everything you need to change. Maybe the name of the professor. Any aspect you need to change, you recompile. And now you have your statement of purpose for University of Mercy. You can always download using this um, link. But you have to always recompile if you make any changes on the left. So Overleaf is very, very easy to use. Like it's not like a complex code or like you have to know. Um, it's just very, very basic. And good thing is you have template online. For instance, if you come to new project, right, I can come to view hall and I can search for, let's say, statement of purpose template. Statement of purpose. And um, look at this. Let's look at this first. Um, okay, so we, we can see this drop. So I can come to this open as templates. And um, yeah, I can decide to change my name, change the first name, the last name. You don't have to worry about this use package document class. They are not your business. All you need to focus on is just the sections that you're interested in to edit. And you can always um, download it. So let's say, for instance, I put my name here. I change this name to Alamit de Mercy. And I recompile. So you can see that my name has changed to Alamit de Mercy. So I'm going to share um, 
a template with you guys that you guys can use in the description section of this video and feel free to go to this um, um, website to search for templates to use for your um, statement of purpose and if you've written your statement of purpose already you can as well just copy those sections and if your own section is no introduction you can always change it if you don't have subsections you can always remove it put it into paragraphs okay if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i hope this was helpful and i believe you guys are going to utilize this we don't always use we don't only use um latex for statement of purpose we also use it for academic cv but that's a little bit complex um if you want me to share that with you as well let me know in the comment section but yeah this is for statement of purpose this is very helpful all you need to do is just um you can always change the name of the statement of purpose this is my statement of purpose for for let's say university of Accra. so you understand so now i already have it and i can always download it as a pdf to my my my, fat, my folder so you understand this is very helpful this is very helpful and if i share something with you and you can always click on that you always find it shared with you it's very easy to um understand it's not a complicated website this is for copying this is for downloading as a zip file this is for downloading the pdf and you can always hide and delete it so I believe this is helpful. If you guys are yet to subscribe, please subscribe. And thank you once again to my returning subscribers for always coming back to watch my videos. Um, if this video was helpful, like this video and um, drop a comment. Let me know you found this you found this helpful. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.